Hi everyone, and welcome to Bluebeam Review. My name is Ari, and I'm a Bluebeam Certified Instructor with Digital Drafting Systems. Today, we're going to learn how to use the Create tool. We can find the Create tool by going to the File dropdown, mousing over Create, and now we have several options. We can create from one file, we can create from multiple files at the same time, we can create a PDF directly from a scanner or camera, and we can create layered PDFs and PDF packages. Now, before we create a PDF from another PDF, let's explain why we actually use this function. Sometimes when using certain functions such as paste in place, the objects don't paste in the proper location on the subsequent pages. So I'm going to demonstrate now what I'm talking about. I'm going to go to my forms tab and I'm going to select signature one right here. I can right click on it and I can't copy it in this list. So I can right click on the signature itself and copy it. And then I'm going to go to my thumbnails area and I'm going to go to page two and I'm going to do paste in place, which is found in the edit dropdown. And you'll notice that it's grayed out right now. And that's because I haven't clicked inside of my drawing area. So I'm going to click once in the drawing area and I'm going to go to edit again. And there's paste in place. And there it is. It's in the proper location. So I know that this PDF is working very well, but sometimes it might shift things like signatures and other markups to the left a certain distance or even to the right sometimes. So it depends on where your PDFs were created from. So if they were made with another program, sometimes there are certain assets in that program that are not really compatible with Bluebeam Review. And this is why we use the create function because it essentially makes a copy of the entire PDF and it basically fixes any assets that are not compatible with review most of the time, of course. So now let's go back to our first page and let's use the create function. Let's go back to the file dropdown, mouse over create, and let's use from file first. This is from one PDF. It must be an existing PDF. So I'm going to go into my Bluebeam review folder, look for this floor plan, and there it is. And then another dialog will pop up very soon. There it is. So what's important here is that we rename this PDF and some people like to move the PDF into another folder. As long as you don't put it in the same folder as its original location, you're not going to overwrite the original PDF. So to prevent that, I'm going to put underscore created. And then we can choose our save file type. We have some other options down here that allow us to save. For example, we can just make a standard document. We could actually switch to different kinds of documents. So for example, we have all of these different formats that are available if you have those programs installed on your computer. And even if you don't, for example, I don't have the Bentley MicroStation program. So very interesting. We could even turn this into a SOLIDWORKS PDF. But standard should work. You could even turn it into a review document if you're having further issues, but standard is the default and we're going to leave it at that. And now everything is ready to go. We're going to click on save, but before we do, let's go to advanced on the bottom right. We have many, many more options here. So we can now change the quality of our PDF if we wanted to. So we can change our dots per inch or DPI from 300 up to 1200. This is going to increase the file's size but let's change it to 600 and see if it doubles the size or if it's close to that. Then we can go to image compression here and we can check and see whether or not we want to use the default graphics zip or if we want to use just photographics instead with JPEG. And then there's also default and we can change some quality of life things here, but this is still grayed out. So even default doesn't allow us to change that yet. So there must be other options that are involved and Let's just set it back to graphics with zip in parentheses. And we have other options here that are not so necessary, but we even have some post processing. We can rotate our pages automatically so we don't have to rotate them after creating the new PDF. So if you know that the PDF needs to be rotated. You can do it all right here. And we can go to line merge here and that will allow all of our lines that are not necessarily vector data to basically merge so that they're a little bit cleaner, but we're going to leave it like that. And now we're going to click on save. Now the process is converting. We can see this icon here in the upper left of this conversion dialog. And that actually was an icon for something called the Bluebeam Stapler. It's an older tool that was used a lot when it came to printing and merging files. Now it's used a little bit here and there with the create tool. So here we have our new floor plan underscore created at the end. And 
nothing has really changed except you'll notice that there's a bit of a difference. It looks like all of our form fields have actually disappeared. And if there was any data inside of them, the data persisted. I can't click on it, so it's automatically been flattened to the page. And if you look at all the other markups that I have, they're also all flattened to the page. So this is much more useful for PDFs that don't have markups on them yet. But if you need to fix a PDF that already has markups, you can do that and it automatically flattens them. So now I have no markups that are clickable. If I go to my markups list, I basically don't really have anything down here. And if I try to click on this icon here, it takes me to a file attachment that basically says no file see attachment. So even file attachments are not really here. You can even tell by my digital ID that I have down here, it is flattened to the page and it's not clickable anymore. So it's just an image. And so that's basically how you use the create tool initially. Let's use some of the other options in the create dropdown. Let's go back to the file dropdown, mouse over create, and this time we'll create from multiple files. So now it's gonna ask us to select more than one PDF. We could select just one, but in this case, we'll select our PDF. And I can just choose this credit card app form that I've converted for us. So we'll just do both of those, click on open. Now it's gonna make sure that my license is registered. And here are my files. If I wanted to add more files, I can do so by clicking on add files right here. I can also click on add folder right here. And that allows me to add multiple files in one folder. And I could include subfolders within a folder. So if folders have many PDFs inside of them and other folders with other PDFs inside of them, I can include that if I wanted to. Let's go to our options before we continue down the list. Here we have a lot of settings and we are in the Bluebeam stapler. It says stapler right here in the top, top left. So these are the settings for the Bluebeam stapler. Here we can essentially open the PDF in a viewer immediately after it's created if we want to. If there's any postscripts, we can delete those automatically. We can bind any print jobs that are associated with the PDFs. And once the PDFs are being made, we can prompt for a file name. This is a very important option and I always like to keep it on. And the auto sort added files is very interesting. It should automatically sort them alphabetically if this is checked on. Then we can choose whichever folder they're gonna be saving to. This folder right here is perfect. This is usually where I save my files. And here are some active converters. This is where we saw all of those different file types and we can basically have them turned on and toggled on right here if we wanted to. So I'll leave all of that the way it is. I'm just gonna click on cancel. Moving down to step two, we can then choose whether or not we're going to get one output file, which means that it's going to combine all of our PDFs in the list into one file. And then we can give that file a name right in this list. And the other option is one output file per document, meaning that we would just create new PDFs from each PDF. And the amount of PDFs in our list will determine how many new files we have if we choose this option right here. But in this case, let's combine these into one PDF and see what happens. We'll call it example floor plan underscore combined. Then moving to step three, we can choose our folder that we're saving to once again. So if we wanted to save in the same folder that the files are located in, we can simply just choose use source file folder. But I like to use the custom folder just so I know exactly where my files are going. And we do have an advanced option here. Let's click on it. And we have a few more settings that you might be familiar with. These are some settings that you may see when using certain plugins with certain programs. And we've already seen some of these options, for example, the line merge resolution, image compression, post-process, all of this is here right now. And we can actually change our image to 600 DPI like we did earlier. And we have some text options here. So this is for anti-aliasing. We can leave this all at high if we want to be able to see how our text regenerates itself as you zoom in on it, et cetera, et cetera. And everything else here is fine. So let's click OK. And then we have a few options down here. We can click OK or create file. Let's click on create file first. And so this is going to be basically making the file. It's now converting both files into one file. And there it is. And if we click OK, basically the same thing happens. Now I had a, le a legend in my previous sheet. So it's just going to say that my legend is gonna rebuild itself because it basically has made a copy of itself. So it's going to try and find the markups that I associated with the legend. So I'll just click okay. 
And now we have this combined set. And we can see in our thumbnails list, we now have seven pages. It actually put the credit card authorization form in front of the example floor plan. And I believe that's because in alphabetical order, C becomes before E. So here it is. And now we have seven pages that are part of this PDF set. Thank you very much for watching our tutorial on the Create tool in Bluebeam Review. We're going to continue this tutorial regarding PDF packages and layered PDFs in subsequent videos. Once again, my name is Ari and I'm with Digital Drafting Systems. Hope you have a great rest of your day.